Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to do a quick review of the product promo template. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. You'll see here I'm in the templates tab and I've scrolled down to product promo. You'll see we have a female and a male version. If you'd like to take a look at them, you just click the little preview button and you'll see what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and choose the female version. You just click on it and you're going to give it a name. Click create. And Doodly brings the entire project into your canvas here. You have everything. You've got all of the individual scenes, the camera movements, a soundtrack, and if you click preview, you'll see these handy dandy subtitles down here. Now of course you can turn subtitles off and you can also edit them. The purpose of these subtitles at this point is to kind of prompt you as you developed your script. So let's go ahead and choose a scene and go into scene settings and you'll see that we can edit these subtitles. So it's kind of like a template for your script. So frustrated by the problem your product solves. So you're gonna go ahead and put what that problem is. So frustrated by a confusing family schedule. We'll say we're, we're making a, like a family planner organizer type product, okay? So that's what I'm going with. And you click apply and you would do that for every scene. So you'd go scene by scene and do that. You'd also update your titles that are actually on the screen. So we'll do that here. It's a little different than what I wrote, but that's okay. And of course, you can edit your characters. This one's titled the product promo female version. If we didn't want this character and say we wanted it to be a dad, that's fine. We could change her easily enough. So all you would do is go over to your characters tab and find a new character. So let's say it's Andrew and we want him looking kind of confused here. So we're going to do this. We're just going to drag him and replace him or replace her I should say. He's a little small so I'm going to go ahead and resize him. And now that we know that Andrew is going to be our main character, we would go through and replace this woman with Andrew in all of the scenes. I'm going to go ahead and undo this. And I'm just going to go with her as being my main character at this point. Now as you go through the scenes, you're going to continue updating both your on-screen titles and your subtitles, which are in your scene settings. So let's give it a name. And now we need to add our product image. So you go over to props and you can either upload your product, which you'll probably want to do, or if you already have it in your system, you can just go search for it. Let's go ahead and place it in your scene. We're going to want to delete our text. That was just to tell us what to do and resize it as needed and make whatever timing adjustments you feel are necessary. Now, if it's an uploaded image, you can click your pencil icon and you'll see I have already done the drawing paths on here and I like that effect, so I'm gonna keep that. Your next scene in this example has that same product image inside. So the easiest thing to do is to go back to your original one and copy and paste it. That way the size and position are gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the little placeholder and then I'm gonna paste in my item. Now because I did just paste this in, it's at the bottom and I'm going to need to put it up top here. So it's behind my arrows. And I'm also going to change the duration to zero because it's already been drawn on so we don't want it to draw on again. Again, you're going to update your text as needed. For introducing, this is identical 
to this one. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. Saves me a little typing and it ensures that the location is in the exact same spot. And once again, I am going to move it up to the top because I want it to be the first thing that appears. And again, it does not need to be redrawn. So I'm going to turn it to zero. Here's another product image to replace. In this case, I'm just going to drag it. And again, zero. You'll also want to update your website. You'll see here also that we have a soundtrack and it should be turned down already. Let's see. Yes, it's at 13%. So that is fine, especially for the voiceover. So speaking of the voiceover, that's what we're going to do next. What you're going to do is you're going to follow those subtitles as they appear on screen. Now, obviously I haven't gone and updated all of them, so I'm not going to do the full thing. I just want to show you the process. Okay. So you go down here where you see the microphone and there's a little plus sign. And when you click it, you get another microphone and it's red. And that's what you're going to push to start recording. So I'm going to do, you know, the first 10 seconds or so, and then we'll be done. Frustrated by a confusing family schedule? Having a hard time finding answers? Tired of products that don't live up to their promise? And then when you're done, you click that red button again, and you have your audio track right here. As I've shown you before, you can hover over the edge and you get this double-sided arrow, and you can just fine tune it if you'd like. And that does give you a little bit of flexibility when you trim off this dead space to move your audio. So say I wanted to start a little bit earlier. You can do that. Before we end, I did want to show you there are some camera movements. And if you like the way that they are set, you can just leave them. Or if you want to make some adjustments, you can certainly do that. You can even delete them completely by hovering over them and clicking the X button. So let's take a look by going into this show preview section. This gives us a little mini viewer and you can control what you're looking at by dragging your playhead. So here's our first camera movement and it's going to zoom in to these words. And then the second camera movement isn't a movement at all. What it is, is it's just putting it back into full screen. So I'm fine with that. So I'm going to leave those. Let's see what this other camera movement is doing. So let's go over here, click to get our playhead and it's zoom. It was zoomed in and now it's zooming out and it does look like some of our timing has changed its position. So we want to fine tune that. So whenever you add time, the camera movement isn't moved accordingly. And I'm going to show you that just real quick so you can see what I'm talking about. So let's make sure we're clicked on the scene just before that camera movement. Now click scene settings and we're going to add one second to the end. And you're going to watch down here where the camera movement is. It's just kind of right in front of that scene. Watch what happens when I change it. See, the camera movement did not move with that change. So it's just going to look weird. So if we do our, our playhead here, all of a sudden it's up close on this scene and then this scene's going to swipe and then we have the second scene. What we actually want is for this camera movement to happen for this scene only. We don't want it to start in this scene. So all you have to do is just drag it over to the very beginning of your new scene. So now what happens is you've got your preceding scene full screen. It switches to our new scene and this scene is zoomed in and the camera pulls out to re eventually reveal the full thing. And that looks fine. 
Now that we have added that extra second, you notice our music doesn't end at the end of the video. So all I need to do here is I'm just gonna slide it over. And that's it. There you have it. That's the basics of how you can work with this product promo template to make it your own. Thanks for watching. Bye.